wide open space for her was overwhelming since she had been kept in a cage her whole life. So she chose to be in probably the smallest room in the house, which was a spare bathroom. She was completely terrified and shut down and just looked like she had lost all hope. Eleanor was rescued from a puppy mill. He had done an artificial insemination procedure on her. I had to physically pick her up and carry her everywhere because she was too afraid. One day, we introduced the toy to her, and she immediately was interested in it. We realized that she was treating this toy like it was one of her puppies that she had had probably numerous times and had always been snatched away from her. And so that was really her comfort. What you got? Huh? Hi. 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 Yeah. I don't know. Come on. Is it because you don't have your baby? Here. Let's see. Let's see. Is it your baby that you want? Huh? Yeah. Oh, that's what she wanted. That's what she wanted. Here you go. Yeah. That's what she wanted. No, no. Is that your, yeah, you hiding your baby? The baby went everywhere she went. There was one day where she was just so excited in the morning, something had clicked. She turned a corner where she just ran out to the family room and was doing circles because she was so excited. She just has this joy to be alive. She wags her tail all the time. She follows me around. She loves running around in the yard and I think her transformation has been incredible. From when I saw her and she was the most shut down, scared foster dog I've ever seen to now. She makes me laugh every day. She gives me something to look forward to, hanging out with her, taking care of her. I feel really lucky that I got to do that. <laughs>